didn't want Ellie to hear this, but I think you should know. Everything I dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance is bad news. He's more than just a murderer. no enemies because they're all dead <laughs> except you but nine to one odds ah, says he's our man off. it's oh, more than just you identifying his distinguishing features the mo is all him as well leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later not many mercs in the commonwealth can pull that off Here we are. Keep an eye out, will you? Let's see if I can get this open. That's one heck of a lock. Got something to hide, Kellogg? Why don't you give it a try? No way I can pick this. Hey, Valentine. No luck? Guess we'll need to find the key. Hmm, we can't get through that door. See that platform in the distance, near the city entrance? That's the elevator to the mayor's office. Why don't you go ask around there? I'll stay here and see if I can jimmy this lock. Here we go. Quiet, you feet. All right, you. Tell me, Diamond City Radio is terrible, yes? Makes you want to cut your own ears off. Yeah, it's pretty bad. This is what I tell you, Finn. Something must be done. Radio is bad for business. Makes customers unhappy. Either we have unhappy customers listening to bad DJ, or we have no music and customers have boredom. Vadim! It's true! Don't listen to my brother! Someone needs to get rid of him! We need a new DJ for the radio! I don't think many would notice if he, you know, disappeared. Sounds good to me. All right! Now, it has to be done quietly, with no fuss. Maybe lead him out of town. All right, that's enough. Vadim isn't serious. He doesn't really want to kill Travis. Right. We're all just having a laugh. Hey, okay, good. I didn't want you to get the wrong idea. <laughs> it, it's true. Only jokes. Travis is a good friend. Yefim and I worry about him. Poor Travis... He, he means well, but he does not have the confidence he needs for that job, or anything else, really. And so he's always awkward. He does not believe in himself, you see? He expects he will fail at everything, and so he does. Well, that can always be turned around. Exactly. This is what I'm telling you, Fim. Go on, spoil sport. Go back to working. We will figure out how to help Travis. Come, you. 
Meet me in back room. We discuss plan. You think that article is telling the truth? You know, Newcomer, about huh? the mayor? Talk to Abbott okay. at the wall if you want a history he's lesson. He's kept the ghouls out, hasn't he? Yeah, but if he's a... Well, you know... Good to see well, returning customers. <laughs> Most die. Uh, you let me know if you need a drink. Maybe later. Some other time, then. What do you want, Vadim? I am glad you are willing to help. Unlike my deadbeat brother! Travis is a good guy. He deserves a better life. Out another house the other day. Who was it? Dunno. I'd be happy to help. Okay, so Travis needs to believe in himself, yes? Believe he is capable of more. You know what works well for this? <laughs> a bar fight. Ever been in one? Haven't met a man I couldn't lay out. Excellent! Because you are going to help Travis win his first fight. I want to stage fight here in Dugout. Nothing too serious. Uh, we make sure Travis wins and feels good about himself after. I want you to be there to help make it look real. What do you think? Sound good to you? I'm on board. When do we start? Why not soon as possible? I have contacts, people I can count on. Real tough looking, but they will take a die for money. They confront Travis here at dugout. You step in and give him push he needs to stand up to them. Then you and Travis take them down. Nothing gets too rough, and Travis is something he can feel good about. Simple, right? I have everything ready by six o'clock. Travis should be here by then, you show up, and it will go well. Promise! Glad we haven't scared you off yet. Need a room? I'll take it. Room two is yours. Enjoy.